Hi there, my name is Phil Higgins and welcome to the Ventures Onsite News Update for the third week of May 2023. Well, in the news this week, the Dubai mega developer Damak Properties unveiled its latest project, Canal Crown. The new project will be located at Dubai Canal, neighboring a range of new towers launched by the property developer. Designed with attention to detail, each residence in Canal Crown will feature units boasting expansive floor-to-ceiling windows offering panoramic views of the seascape and Dubai Water Canal and will provide a sophisticated waterfront living ambience. The Canal Crown will offer studio one, two and three bedroom units. The Al Habtul Group has announced the launch of one of the world's largest and most innovative sustainable landmark buildings, the Habtul Tower, to be built in a prime location on Sheikh Zayed Road. The new tower will be built in Al Habtul City and will incorporate innovative, creative and selective construction techniques. Oman's Ministry of Health has started the construction on 11 new hospitals across a number of key governance in order to develop the health sector to keep pace with the demands of the nation's rapidly growing population. The projects are underway and include the new Sawak Hospital in North Al Batina with a capacity of 307 beds for completion in 2024. The new Sultan Qaboos Hospital in Salalak which is expected to be completed in 2025, and the new Kassab Hospital in Masadam, with 164 beds, planned to open in 2024. Azizi Developments has partnered with Perry, the German manufacturer and supplier of formwork and scaffolding systems, for its Beachfront One project, which is said to be a key element in its premium waterfront development Riviera. Located in MBR City, Beachfront One comprises three 14-storey buildings offering 252 studios, 84 one- and two-bedroom homes, as well as 19 retail spaces totaling 439 units. Each building set on the shore of Azizi's 2.7-kilometre-long Crystal Lagoon features direct beach access, swimming pools, landscape surroundings and a host of other indoor and outdoor amenities. The developer also announced its plans to invest more than $16 billion through the launch of 50 upmarket luxury hotels and resorts and one seven-star hotel in Dubai. The developer plans to add close to 20,000 new hotel keys to Dubai's hotel stock over the next five years. 399 Hills Park has been announced by National Properties, located in Dubai Hills Estate, close to the Dubai Hills Mall. The property is valued at $272 million and is set to be a prime attraction in the UAE's real estate market. The new project will offer a luxurious lifestyle including one, two and three bedroom apartments and a range of state-of-the-art amenities. 399 Hills Park is scheduled for completion in Q4 2025. Aramco, Baoshan Iron and Steel and the Public Investment Fund have signed a shareholders agreement to establish an integrated steel plate manufacturing complex in the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia. The joint venture complex is expected to be located in Ras Al Khair Industrial City, one of the four new special economic zones. The complex will bring together Aramco's unrivaled energy and industrial services ecosystem. Baoshan's advanced steel plate industry capability and PIF's strong financial capabilities and investment expertise. It would be the first facility of its kind in the kingdom and the GCC region, advancing the regional steel industry ecosystem. The facility is expected to have a steel plate production capacity of 1.5 million tonnes per year. It will also be equipped with a natural gas-based direct reduction iron furnace and an electric arc furnace, which aims to reduce CO2 emissions from the steel making process by up to 60% compared to a traditional blast furnace. The DRI plant would be compatible with hydrogen without the need for major equipment modifications, potentially reducing CO2 emissions by up to 90% in the future. Nikhil has launched Como Residence, 
a new exclusive residential development on Palm Jumeirah. The 71-story residential tower, standing over 300 metres tall, will feature an innovative design that ensures that each residence will take full advantage of the 180 to 360 degree views of Dubai and the Arabian Sea. Como Residences is limited to just 76 residences consisting of two to seven bedroom apartments, including a spacious duplex penthouse. Como Residence will be a key addition to the Kiel's portfolio and will set a new standard for luxury living. Neom has recently awarded a significant $2 billion contract for the construction of the Connector South rail line connecting Neom's industrial city Oxagon and the line development. The transportation project will be undertaken by Sajco, a joint venture between Italy-based WeBuild and Riyadh headquartered Shiba Al Jazeera contracting. Well, that's the news for this week. Like always, we hope this news update helps you stay informed so you stay competitive. My name's Phil Higgins, and this is Ventures On Site Live.